Hello, it's me again. I uh, hope you enjoyed your fairy cakes. Those were lovely. And today in the Roystering Youth Action video, I'm going to be making soup. Now the soup I'm going to be making today is tomato and lentil soup. This is no one of my usual soups, but I just looked around the, the house to see what I had uh, in the cupboards and in the fridge. So it's not what I normally make, but, but we're going to make this today. Okay, so the first thing to say about soup is that it's better if you make it with your own stock. And when I say stock, it just means the water that you've boiled some meat in, basically. So if you've had a boiled ham for your dinner, keep the water that you boiled it in and use that. Or if you've had a roast chicken and all the meat's been taken off the bones, put the bones back in a pot with cold water, boil away that for about half an hour, take the bones out, and that's your soup stock. If you don't have that though, you can just use um, stock cubes. I'm going to use ham stock cubes today. But you can get any kind of stock cubes. You can get chicken, you can get veg vegetables if you're a vegetarian. You can get gluten-free stock cubes if you're celiac. So all of that is really very straightforward. Okay, so there's, I'll hold this up so that you can see what goes in this. The thing about soup is you really can't go wrong with it. It's just soup and you can add in and you can change the mixtures and you can do all of that. Okay, so as usual, We'll do the hand washing first. We'll do that first. And um, I will uh, take my watch off because I don't like to keep that on the wall quickly. Get my hands nice and clean. Well done. That's nice to get the soap all over it, right? And well dried. And that's us ready to go. Now I've already done a little bit of preparation, uh, not much, but a little bit. So, okay. um, so you've got one potato and I've, um, I've already peeled that. I'm sure you know how to peel a potato. I've got this can of tomatoes but I've already washed the can since I brought it back from the shop so that's nice and clean, it's not bringing back any infection. I've got these carrots. Now, I've topped and tailed them, so I've took the very ends off, just a small amount each side. Uh, I just scrub my carrots, I don't peel them. You can peel them if you like, but I just scrub them, and I've done the rest of them. Uh, I've just left this one to show you. So that's what I do with a vegetable brush. But if you want to peel them, peel them, so I'll peel them. Okay, so the first thing we do is we'll get these vegetables chopped up first. Um, obviously you can just chop them with a knife, that's absolutely fine. I have this wee gadget because I love gadgets and I really, really love using this gadget. So I'm going to show you this for some of it. Okay. Oh, I love that gadget. It's so satisfying. There you go. That's my potato done. I can do the same with my carrots. Cut them a little bit first. Can do that. It's an absolute dream. if you're using a sharp knife. Um, while well, you've been away, I've had a great time chopping the carrots. I'll show you them in a minute. Vegetables all chopped up. Into this mess as we go along. Okay, so the next thing you do is you get your pot. Now, the soup that I'm making today 
Is it enough for four portions? So you stir that around just to let, keep stirring it with a wooden spoon so the veg doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot and you um, do that for about five minutes just to soften the veg up a little bit. Uh, and the eagle eyed among you will have worked out that I swapped pots because I realised that the pot that I had started out was going to be too small given the amount of veg that I'd chopped, chopped so that changed to a bit more. Okay. And you can uh, add at this point um, some salt, just be careful with the salt, particularly if you're using ham stock because that's very salty to start with, so a little bit of that. And um, some paper. So do that. And then you add, so I've got my stock cubes. Now this recipe that I gave you says, I don't know, 700 mils of water. Just put in as much water as looks, makes sense for the amount of veg that you've chopped. Don't worry too much about that. You can just adjust as you go along. I'll show you 700 mils. Right. But I may well add more to it. So, here I am. that round to dissolve the stock cube. So as I say, remember the stock cube has probably salt, unless you've got especially no salt ones in it, so just be careful with the amount of salt you're adding, just taste and see what it's like. Okay. soup anyway, you add in, just keep watching it and see how you like it, do you like it back, do you like it, you know, more water in it anyway, so I just sort of make a judgement. Obviously, just add it slowly because you don't want to add too much if it becomes really water and then you've more of a problem. And at this point I'm going to put in this can of tomatoes. As I say, this is not one of my more uh, traditional soups, I'm not seeing those later. Uh, I'll just uh, balance that out with Lid on that and let that brighten boil. And while that's happening, I'm going to take my lentils. So here's my red lentils. I've already measured those out. I've already measured those out. That's a, um, 150 grams. But lentils, you have to. I'm 
So that's it, and it's been bubbling away here for probably about more like 40 minutes. So if you want to have a wee look in, and that's your soup, and you can taste it and check whether you need some more salt or pepper. And, and that's it. So there's a good few plates of soup in there. Okay, see you next week.